We're talking right now with Dave Prescott, the head track coach for Glidden Ralston. He is both the girls and boys track coach. We're down at the uh, Coon Rapids Baird meet today held in Guthrie Center. And Dave, uh, let's first talk about the boys. A very good number out for you guys this year. Yeah, we got uh, 32 boys and we're, we're kind of anchored by a great group of seniors that have been out for four years, you know, including Mitchell Lynch, Zach Mugberg, Anthony Schultz. Uh, Tanner, you know, we've got some younger guys that are coming up, and uh, we've got a good balance throughout every class and every grade. And we're really looking forward to the year. There's good talent everywhere. We're, we're filling every event and every relay. It's something we don't do very often, but uh, filling them and being, comp being competitive on every one of them is a big thing. And so far this year, we're, all, we're looking pretty good as far as things are turning out. Dave, is it this senior class, their leadership, that's got those numbers uh, kind of where they're at this year? Uh, it's The boys have remained steady throughout years. You know, we've gone anywhere from 28 to 30, but I think that they, they've learned that the hard work and the effort that they give out in, in track springboards them into their summer sports and, and conditions them to get them started for the other things that they do. And a lot of them are finding out that they're actually pretty good at some of these events, and, and they're taking that to heart. They like to go down to Des Moines, like to be in called conference champions, and so it gives a great opportunity to to increase the amount and the interest in track and field. Dave, uh, you mentioned uh, a, a deep team where you guys are going to be pretty solid in a lot of events. What do you feel like are the events that uh, may be the toughest events for you guys this year and Your the best events? The well, um, the toughest Center. events you're going to have, you know, we, we have a good three core of three people in our shuttle hurdle and finding that fourth guy. Um, we were two one hundredths of a second off the state qualifying last year and we were our first time out we ran within a second and a half of that time. So developing young hurdlers and trying to get that spot, you know, that's going to be our biggest obstacle right now and our biggest challenge. Uh, keeping the guys that are doing well, at doing well at what they're doing and getting better, not just you know com getting complacent. Uh, Zach Mergenberg in the and the high jump in the 100, 200. Uh, Mitchell Lynch in the high hurdles, and hopefully those younger guys see the success that they're having and follow their work ethic and, and we just get better at these things and develop them as youngsters and, and keep the track going as good as it's been going for us. Coach, who are some of the other teams in the conference you think might kind of contend with you guys for that conference title this year? Well, Elkhorn and Xyra is always tough. I mean, they, they field a lot of people. They always have, have done real well. I think they're the defending conference champ from the last couple of years with the rolling heels here. Uh, Adair Casey's always got some good athletes that we have to compete against. You know, I mean, we keep abreast of what everybody's doing and, and we try to compete and go down there. We were third place team last year. Uh, we only lost one guy off of that team. So we're hoping that we can get back there and be in those top three, if not, not challenge for the, the top spot on the guy's side. Let's switch over now to the girls. Uh, how do the numbers look for the girls this year? It's about the best numbers that I've had since I started coaching. Uh, 18, 19 girls. We, we're filling a lot more events. We're getting some shuttle hurdle. We're getting some open hurdles, getting some, you know, two milers and some other girls that things that we haven't had in the past. Uh, we're not real great on speed, but we have good speed. And it's kind of leveled off through the whole group of them. I was thinking that it's probably talent wise about as a team, about the best team that we've had talent-wise. It's not the best athletes that we've had, but the potential is there to be really good if they just develop the confidence. We're kind of the opposite of what the boys are. The boys are led by a great group of seniors and, and some young guys following. We're pretty young on this girls team. We have one senior and or two seniors, I guess, and we're the majority of us are freshmen, sophomores. So those girls have to get out and compete and develop confidence and learn this stuff on their own. And, and the only way you do that is by going out each week and competing. Dave, who are some of the uh, kids and, and what are some of the events that you feel like will be the strong for the ones for the girls? Well, our sprint groups and our mid-distance groups are probably going to be our strength of this year's team. Uh, we do have some field events that are looking pretty good and have good potential. Hannah Streeter in the in the shot put has shown some early success and, and looks like you know she could develop into somebody pretty good.
good thrower. Uh, Morgan Brosh is the junior, and she's been a three-year letter winner for us. She kind of heads up our sprint crew with in our relays. Uh, Lauren Mauber, freshman. Uh, Paige Slickty is another freshman. Mandy Desarts is sophomore. Uh, they're all good sprinters. Uh, when you take a look at Cassidy Smith, she's versatile that she runs long distance and sprints. Uh, Beth Potroff. You know, she's a junior that is a good leader on our team, works hard. They all, but they're all, you know, mid-distance to sprinters, and we just need to develop handoffs. We need to develop the whole track mentality of what we need to do to be successful. Coach, what are some of the meets that uh, you're looking forward to for the girls? Well, this meet here is one that we always look forward to. I mean, it is a Class A meet. Everybody's pretty much our side. We can compete with everybody. It helps us develop confidence on everything. Uh, we are all gear everything. Co conference is another one. Uh, with the girls and the amount of girls that we have, we feel we can be competitive. Hopefully going through the other meets, we develop some of those things. We find out the personalities of what our team is going to be, who's going to fill in where, and hopefully that builds us into a, a better team by conference and by uh, district time. Well, Coach, appreciate you joining us here today. Best of luck at this coming up, upcoming season. Well, thanks a lot, Jeff. It's a pleasure to always talk to you.